What's up everybody, it's Sean Fruin here. Thanks for joining us for another Evolve Labs Way Faster Wednesday where we're giving you little tricks to speed up your everyday AEC workflows. So today we're gonna to be looking at adding shared parameters into Revit, that's what I'm doing right now. It's a very labor intensive process, going through all these use eyes one by one for each and every parameter. So let's back up and look at a way that we can bulk add these to Revit using Dynamo. So let me open up my graph real quick. As you can see, the graph is pretty simple. In Dynamo 2.0, we now have the node parameters create shared parameters. This used to be a node that you'd have to get off of packages, but is now out of the box Dynamo in 2.0. So once we go over to Excel, we have all of our parameters in here and we have columns representing the parameter name, the group name, the type, the group, if it's an instance or not, and then of course the category list. Now let's go into Dynamo and check out the code. The first step is to remove the headers with the rest of items node, then transpose the data to get into more of the list form that Dynamo likes. For the instance parameter, we're going to use an if statement to get a true Boolean value. And then for the categories, we're going to use category by name node to get an actual list of categories. Notice that we come up with nulls out of this window. It's okay. If we go here, we check, we just added all of our parameters quickly and easily. No more pulling your hair out going through all user AIs. Thanks for joining us on another Wave Faster Wednesday and hope to see you next week.